How's it going everyone? It's Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to the Move Review, aka for a sole review video for today. This time for this new episode for the series is going to be my review on the 2023 serialistic tragic comedy horror film, and that is Bo is Afraid. Now this is written and directed by Ari Aster, who you may know him as the director of Hereditary and Midsommar. So he has now come to make a new um, A24 horror film, which is this movie. And so the story of the film is that Following the sudden death of his mother, a mild-mannered but anxiety-ridden man named Bo, played by Joaquin Phoenix, confronts his darkest fears as he embarks on an epic Kafka-esque odyssey back home. So that's pretty much the whole plot synopsis I can say for Bo is Afraid. Now, this was one of my most anticipated movies of this year. Like, I was really excited for this movie, and there was a few reasons. One was because this was a new film by A24, and you guys may know already, I'm a huge fan of A24. They're one of my favorite movie companies that's working to this day, because they've made some really damn good movies over the last few years. And an another reason why I was looking forward to this film was because this was a new film by Ari Aster, and he made two uh, very well-made horror films in the last decade, which were Hereditary, which I thought, which I can definitely say it's definitely one of my one of my favorite horror films of the, of the last decade, and definitely one of my favorite horror films of 2018, because that film was really scary but yeah it was very well acted namely of tony collette's a phenomenal performance in that film and i can definitely agree with everyone it was such a um such a crime that she didn't even get nominated for an oscar because she definitely deserved an oscar nomination for that film because she, she was so incredible in that film and another film that um, Ari Aster did was uh, Midsommar, which came out in 2019. And I thought that film was great, despite the film re received, received a lot of polarizing reviews. Like, critics really liked it, but audience were, audiences were very divisive with that film. But for me personally, I think the film was great, although not as, like, great like, like Hereditary was. So when I heard he was making a new movie, I was really excited for it. And um, another reason why I was looking forward to this film was because this stars Joaquin Phoenix. And you guys may know already, I'm a huge fan of Joaquin Phoenix. He's my favorite actor of all time. You know, he's an incredible actor. Like, he's given some incredible performances over the last few years and decades. Like Gladiator, Walk the Line, The Master, and of course his off-screen performance as the Joker in 2019's, the, in 2019's Joker. And once I saw the trailers for this film, I was really hyped for it. But I was also like what the hell is going on here because i didn't even know what the hell was going on when i was watching the trailer but um this film came out back in april of this year but we didn't get this film until may of this year and this came out the exact same day as fast x did which i want to see that after i saw um another thing that came out first over that so i went to see this just a couple of days after it was released and i had to go to a different cinema to see this film because this was really this film wasn't really playing much at, at my uh my job or or the cinema i usually go to when i'm not working or what so I still have my uh, free ticket for the film, which I do have right here. And uh, after watching this whole movie, I gotta say, this is definitely another bizarre film that I have seen this year alongside Infinity Pool. This film was absolutely insane as hell. But I can also say as well that I genuinely thought this was a great film here. Although I wouldn't say this is Ari Aster's next new, next new like hereditary or anything like that. It's definitely his weakest film of his film library here. But this still is a great film here, you guys. When it comes to Joaquin Phoenix's performances in movies, no matter what he's in, he always manages to deliver incredible performances in his own movies. And as for this film, I thought he was terrific here in this film as Bo, and I really felt for his character throughout the entire film here, in which we constantly see him struggling with himself through himself being really paranoid through his darkest fears that he faces through while he's on his journey to get back home to his dead mother. And I thought Phoenix did a really great job through the, the material that he was given for his character and all that make us really caring towards him and all that while we see him going on this journey to get back home to his dead mother. And as for everyone else who are in this film, which you've got Amy Ryan and Nathan Lane, I thought everyone else for the most part were very well active for their performances here in this movie. And when it comes to the uh, storytelling here for this film, it is really strange, but yet also really puzzling here. And it, all, and it was played out pretty differently than I expected and all that, because I didn't really expect that go, when I was going into this film, because I thought it was going to be something that I expected, but no, it played out pretty differently here. And I thought this film did a great, did a really good job and all that, through the different types of elements that this film blends in here. Like, there are times where the film can be a fantasy film or a horror film, and even a comedy film, which I thought all those elements here were, were blended in pretty well here. 
And since this, and since like I said, the storytelling is pretty puzzling at times. There were times where I was getting uh, that there were times where the film does get a little bit confusing and all that. And there were times where I was getting a little bit confused while I was watching this film here. And it's definitely one of those films that probably needs multiple rewatches to basically make you fully understand what's going on here. And that's one of the few issues I do have with this film here. And as for the pacing here for this film, I thought it was really well paced and all that, despite the film being very long here. It's three hours long, and I thought the film was worthy of its runtime here. And even when it gets to the final act of the film. It was absolutely bizarre as hell, but yeah, it was very unpredictable that I and all that because I didn't really see that coming while I was watching this film here. When once I saw it, I was like shocked out of my seat and all that. Like my eyes were like nearly out of my skull and all that. And when it comes to um the direction here, the direction here by Ori Aster here, it is really crazy here through the amount of twisted stuff that he was able to throw into this film, like through there's some through the elements, through the different types of elements here. Like there's some like creepy elements, there's some bloody violence, and there's even some animation style here, which when it comes to that moment in this film, I thought it was pretty unique here. Although when it gets to that scene where it does use that, where it does use that animation style here, I kind of felt it was a bit odd and all that to me, because it felt like to me, I was watching something very differently here than that, than what I was watching and all that. And that's another issue I did have with this film here. But overall in the end guys Bo was afraid this film was genuinely great here but this was, but this was also a bizarre wild ride of a movie here and like I said it's definitely not Ari Aster's best film or anything like that in this film library here it's definitely his weakest film here but I still thought this was a great film here that he's done here and uh, there are a few ways I can recommend this film if you're a fan of Ari Aster or you're a fan of A24 or the actor Joaquin Phoenix this is one I would really recommend you see here for yourselves here so that's pretty much all I have to say about Bo is afraid I'm gonna give Bo is afraid four out of five. Like I said, it's definitely not Ari Aster's best film here when it comes to his films in his film library here. It's definitely his weakest in his library here of films. But I still thought this was a great film here from beginning to end here, despite being another bizarre film that I've seen this year here alongside Infinity Pool here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my AK After I Saw review on Bo Is Afraid. And let me know what you think of this movie if you have seen this already or if you just recently checked out this film. Did you have a great time with this? Or was this not really a popcorn treat? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And this has been Falcons Media Corner signing off. Mm -hmm.